But like you said, we can't test out that they put in what they want to advertise and more than what we can for what y'all do. But you would have to admit that it felt mm -hmm. like a credibility problem when they do false advertising like this. And we feel that, that we're run over as citizens that they do this. Of how many people? I want to see what side of the fence we're on. I hope we have have a uh, uh, assortment here. But can I have a show of hands of how many people are here that would not like this to be the Earl Scruggs Center or courthouse? The question: How many people like to right. sit the museum? Like to sit at the Cleveland County Historical Museum. Right. Okay. Can I ask the question again? How many people in here would be willing for their tax dollars to go up two million dollars? It's already one point five. That well, renovates the entire. I'm telling you, maybe that's it. No, that's over and above what we've got to do in the courthouse. If you don't even use the courthouse, we've got to spend that money to keep the building up. If no one's been in it, I've been in it. I mean, it shouldn't have been allowed to get in this state. I agree. I agree. And the county had to be on the board when it got this. How do you have a question? Let's say the historic museum. Does that mean anything? But I made a recommendation that the courtroom be restored back to its original position as much as financially possible and that it be used for community meetings, community gatherings, for uh, City of Shelby Council meetings if they so desire to use it for that, and that be consideration be given uh, for it to be named after a couple of former political giants from Cleveland County. Uh, that has been discussed uh, pretty thoroughly among the commissioners and we can't hear. We got a part of hearing man up here. Could you come around? <laughs> 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 Question, I believe Margaret J asked that question of Brandon Plaster and if it could be called the Cleveland County Historical Museum feature in the Earl Scrubs Center and, and she said no. It's already been referred to as the Scrubs Center. But nothing as far as name yeah. can be put on the outside of the building. No, but this it can't be put on the outside of the building. This is a historical that. monument, so it'll always stay Cleveland County. Now, they, yeah. if, this, if this goes through, there will be a sign somewhere on the yard. There will be a sign on the yard that will say the Earl Scrubs Center. And, and one time we will sign on the yard for the, uh, yeah. the museum. So. Yeah. But this is what it will be called because they're already referring to it. Okay, please do. I want to open this forum for anybody that would like to speak. I want to speak. That's why I know that we have a commissioner and we have a supervisor. My name is Sandra Stroud, and I'm unknown to a lot of you. I'm, uh, I fight a battle. I'm not afraid to take anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I have in the past, we filed a lawsuit against the county commissioners and took it all the way to federal court in Washington, D.C. and won. <laughs> and I, for one, am not afraid to do it again. And this is the question that I would like that I pose to the county commissioners who are present. When did you ever post a public hearing to the public, me and every citizen in Cleveland County, when did you post that a hearing would take place concerning the use of a county facility which we all own? When did you post it? Day, time, and where? I can't use the date because there was one when they discussed the fund. I think it was up in the public hearing. But no, I'm talking about a public posting that should come out in the paper. It was, it was in the paper. Uh, what he, uh, what he, he's he, talking about, it was a commissioner's meeting. No, I'm not talking about a meeting. Yeah. I'm talking about a hearing. This was a public and a public hearing. Did they post it? That was it in the paper? Yes. Yeah. Did they post it 60 days? Well, where did you get a copy? And, and by the way, I have checked with Institute of Government Chapel Hill and this. It's not illegal not to 
to uh, post it. To but it has failed to. to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but to my knowledge, there has not been. I would like to see that too. I want to see that. that if you can okay. produce that, could you please post that somehow so that we can see it? Was it one of the three minute meetings? No, that's. Oh, was it three minute meetings? Well, I've got three minutes to say, I know that we had several periods when we opened for a public meeting to hear in one of them that we discussed in contract. Well, that's not a but, but what is what it is, it is that it is different, it's not. It's and there is a line that that. If that is not posted, you know, there's, uh, I can't find who there is. Maybe there is a line bill. But, uh, but that was my question. Okay, now. What she said is different from that. Now, I have gone to your meetings, and you've been kind enough to, to hear me time and again. And, uh, but it is like a three-minute, and they've been kind enough to let me ramble on for four and a half, and even a second, another 30 seconds, because it's hard to get your thoughts together sometimes, even as fast as I talk, uh, to get out what it's all you want to say. But, um, and, and then at the end of that, they say thank you. Stage. You want to come up here or you want to come right. back here? Okay. This is Judith Parker Proctor. Margaret J. and I had a meeting with Brown and Slasher and David Deer. Uh, I think it was about October. Mm -hmm. And uh, we spent about two hours in David Deer's office asking questions about the courthouse. And we specifically asked about the courtroom. We were told. Margaret was <laughs> under the impression it was going to be turned into a dance hall. I hadn't heard that one. I thought that was kind of funny. But Brownie Plaster told us that it was going to be used for performances. It's going to be used basic, uh, stay basically the same as it is. They're going to take out the false ceiling and uh, so that uh, 19 tiles that are still up there will be opened up. But that it is going to be used for, for performances. This thing about the community room has only come up since they've been making a big deal now about the artifacts and how they're going and that's been coming out in the paper recently. Uh, they're, I think they're trying to clean up their act and they're making them put more and more in the paper about the artifacts. So the community room has been more of a, of a point recently. But Brownie told Margaret and me that it was going to be used for performances. Those performances are going to be, have to meet the standards of the Earl Scruggs family. And this was told to us by Brownie and David. Okay. Uh, well, I think that. about it. Uh, do we have any more official? Okay, Mr. Coleman. Some time ago, I made them up. I'm going to know right off the bat that you've got a vested interest here. And um, so. And the same thing with the, the city. Um, Rick Howell negotiated the state theater, the FLIG. He negotiated those terms that gave them $500,000. So in my mind, he was negotiating with himself. If he's a city board member, then he was negotiating with himself. So two weeks ago, I went to the county commissioner's meeting, and I said to them then, I, and I said, I have a problem with this because I think this is a conflict of interest. And I said, uh, I said to David, I said, you sit on their board at with Bodie Bright. And I said to the, the three commissioners, Mary Acker happened to not be there that night, so I was sitting to Judge Bob and Ed Holder. I said, you sat on their uh, planning task force that made their five-year plan. And I said, you folks cannot sit on their committees and on their boards and negotiate our money and our buildings. It's a conflict of interest and it erodes trust. And how unfortunate for us as a people if in the final analysis that we do achieve publicity and prosperity at the expense of honor and trust. So this is the point where we are now. Is the um, DCC is waiting for an answer from the board about whether they're going to allow them to make the Earl Scruggs Center into our courthouse. And, and this is what I want to say about that. I would not think that most of the citizens would want that courthouse to be called the Earl Scruggs Center. And, and it doesn't sound 